Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out what's going on here. Um, if you figure it out, let me know. This video is my project pan. This is my declutter project pan. This is the, I created this to help me declutter my life a little bit um, <laughs> and keep some, some consistent progress even when life is getting a little bit crazy. How many of you guys struggle when you get down to that last little bit of product and then you want to keep it, suddenly you don't want to use it anymore because you're saving it for something so special, even if you don't know what that special is. Basically, it ends up just sitting there way past its usefulness. That's a problem for me. I created this project to help me solve it. It's all about just trying to keep the clutter moving out, the last bits of product moving out. Every month or two, I pick about four products that I'm pretty sure I can use up, finish off in a month or so's time, and I set that goal. I also pick one product to try out and make a decision on whether I should try to keep it, use it, or just pass it along while it's still kind of new. My last update was in May, so it's been two months. And I just remembered a product, so I'm going to grab it really quick. First off, I have this Sol de Janeiro dry shampoo. This one's still in here. Oh my gosh, I can't finish it. Why though? I just really don't know. I think I'm going to need an intervention with this product. I have given up on it as a dry shampoo. It's not, it's just, it has oil in it. It adds oil to the hair, like, it adds too much oil. I, I started looking and I was, realized that more than just this dry shampoo have oil in it. And I was like, okay, but this one just adds too much. It makes my hair greasier. Um, it does, like if I put it on the ends of my hair, it does kind of smell nice as a hair fragrance. But I mean, how often do you think to use a freaking hair fragrance? Maybe I should use it today. That's a good idea, but let me wait till after I'm done filming in case I mess it up. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm still, I'm trying to figure out how to wear my hair wavy and whatever, curl, I don't, I don't know. Whatever texture it is, I'm trying to figure out how to wear its natural texture. And, it's, you know, it's a challenge. Next up, I have Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast Body Spray. This was in a project last year. Um, I didn't get it finished, or I did get it finished. I'm sorry. Five months later six months later, seven months later, I have this finished. There's this little tiny bit in there, but it's not coming out. Let me see if I can get one more squirt. Mm. Yeah, I got one. It smells good. Um, oh gosh, I really do enjoy that scent. For that, I am adding in this little mini sample of Replica Bubble Bath. I have been loving Replica this past year and I'm just obsessed with By the Fireplace and Jazz Club. So I kind of started hoarding this little sample for several months um, just because for unknown reasons. Every time I reach for it, I talk myself into saving it for later. I'm like, well, you know, let me let me save it for later. Like, what am I saving it for? Anyways, I'm going to use that. This is Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. I first put this in a project and um, I first put this in Project 10 uses last year and then just kind of continued using it. Uh, I'm ready for it to be gone. It's just been in my shower for a year now. And although I would consider it pleasant to use, it's a little bit soothing. I just don't think it really adds any value or extra benefit to my skincare routine. So in that sense, it's just kind of taking up space that I don't really have in my shower. My shower's overcrowded. Um, so I did finish this one. I'm happy and I'm very happy that it's out of my shower. I went through my inventory for the next item. I, I was just kind of looking over like, what do I really need to use? And I wanted to see what my biggest category was and it's, it's skincare. So I have 90 skincare items and my ideal goal would be to have about 45. So I have twice as much skincare than I think I need. Anyways, so I thought, well, let me do a skincare item and let me do like a super easy one um, that hopefully I can use in a month. So this is a single use. I ran across these single use eye patches. Um, they're from Erno Laszlo. I got them in a kit. I'm sure that they're nice. I will use them, enjoy them, and get those out. And then next, I have this Pure 4-in-1 Foundation. Okay, so this is... <coughs> Excuse me. Last month I had two pans of this, so we're gonna call it, okay, I'm being confusing, two and three. I did a whole pot of this uh, the month of a previous to this from a different color that I had frankened. So this is my, my new franken mix. I had foundation two and three. They were both in this project. Oh my gosh, I'm being confusing. Um, this foundation is not good for summertime because of the humidity. 
However, I just wanted to say I have this. I managed to finish it off back in May. I had this little teeny, 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 tiny bit left, and I wanted to save that because I want to color match again. I want to make this again in the fall. Um, this foundation was an amazing color for me. I still have like new versions of the products that I frankened that I would like to just go ahead and re, -re in and make that color because it was really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to do that again. I'm saving that little bit just for color. If that makes sense. Since this was a makeup item, I wanted to bring in another makeup item. So I'm going to go off on like a long shot with this one. Um, or maybe not. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm... Oh, what did I do with it? Let me go get that one now. Okay, so I'm going off on a long shot with this one. Maybe not. Really not super sure. But I just want to finish this orangey. It's not really orange. Um, it's like a peachy golden highlighter. It's gorgeous. And actually, I have it on today. You can probably barely see it. I, I love this shade for summer. It's my favorite. Um, it's super duper 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 wearable. It just goes with my skin tone. I really enjoy it. So I would like to finish that off. And I have another one I actually want to add into the palette when I'm done with that. And maybe Frank in some of those too. I'm just Franking in everything this year. This is my year of Franken, I guess. Um, and yeah. So that's all for that. Lastly, I have this one extra product that I, I just kind of snuck this in last time because I found it. This had been in project after project after project and I kept losing it. And so I found it and I was like, I'm putting it in this project and we're finishing it up. It'll be gone. It is gone. It's done. It's gone. Um, and I'm not going to add anything in for that because I want to go back to just having the four products. Lastly, we have the Try Me product. And that's something that I like to try out uh, and make sure that I want to keep. The last couple of updates, I had this Inglot liner and I was just really having a hard time trying it because I've just not been wearing a lot of eyeliner lately. However, this eyeliner was really good. I used it just three or four times. Like I said, I've just not been that super into eyeliner. This was really, really nice though. Um, hopefully I'll get inspired to use it just a little bit more before it gets too old because I mean, it was just so nice. Coming in for this, I am going to do something just a little bit different. Well, I, I say it's different. It's different for this project, but you'll see. <laughs> I have been having a really hard time decluttering. So I was trying to think of like, what can I declutter? And I, you know, I'm just having a really hard time thinking of trying to get rid of useful or potentially useful items. And in favor, uh, in mind of that, I just, I couldn't come up with a product here that I was going to be open to passing along. Um, one thing that I just mentioned, I've been really more in tune with lately is making use out of what I already have, changing things up to make them useful in a different way. So at least for the next update, I am just going to work on frankening this bronzer here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to create with it yet. I just want to try something. And if I end up hating it, I will feel like at least I tried to make something out of it. Other than summertime, this bronzer is just too dark for me. I can use it right now. Um, but, you know, in two months, it's just going to be too dark. I would kind of like to see if I could make... I really, really, really love this. And then I would like to see if I could make a dupe of that with this because they're very similar in tone yeah this is a contour powder not a bronzer but you know what I mean they're very similar in tone and this was like the perfect shade for me for winter uh so we'll see anyways we'll just see what happens I'm not you know whatever if I waste it I waste it that palette's so old I probably should just throw that away but I just kind of want to play with it so I'll just wear them at <laughs> All right, that's all the products that I have right now. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you again in the next one. Bye.